God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God, whose almighty word, chaos and darkness heard, and took their flight. Hear us, we humbly pray, and where the gospel day sheds not its glorious ray, let there be light. Savior, who came to bring on your redeeming wing, healing and sight, Health to the sick in mind, sight to the inly blind. O oh, now to all mankind, let there be light. Spirit of truth and love, life-giving holy dove, speed on your flight. Move on the water's face, bearing the lamp of grace, and in earth's darkest place let there be light. Holy and blessed three, glorious Trinity, wisdom of might, Boundless as ocean tide, rolling in fullest pride, through the world far and wide, let there be light. We groan in pain as we await the redemption of our bodies. I said, I will be watchful of my ways, for fear I should sin with my tongue. I will put a curb on my lips, when the wicked man stands before me. I was dumb, silent and still. His prosperity stirred my grief. My heart was burning within me. At the thought of it, the fire blazed up, and my tongue burst into speech. O oh Lord, you have shown me my end. How short is the length of my days. Now I know how fleeting is my life. You have given me a short span of days. My life is as nothing in your sight. A mere breath, the man who stood so firm. A mere shadow, the man passing by. A mere breath, the riches he hoards, not knowing who will have them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We groan in pain as, as we, we await, await the, the redemption, redemption of, of our, our bodies. bodies. Hear and answer my prayer, O Lord, let me not weep in vain. And now, Lord, what is there to wait for? In you rests all my hope. Set me free from all my sins. Do not make me the taunt of the fool. I was silent, not opening my lips, because this was all your doing. Take away your scourge from me. I am crushed by the blows of your hand. You punish man's sins and correct him. Like the moth, you devour all he treasures. Mortal man is no more than a breath. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, turn your ear to my cry. Do not be deaf to my tears. In your house I am a passing guest, a pilgrim like all my fathers. Look away that I may breathe again before I depart to be no more. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hear and answer my prayer, O, o Lord. Lord. Let, Let me, me not, not weep, weep in vain. I have put all my trust in God's never-failing mercy. Why do you boast of your wickedness, you champion of evil, planning ruin all day long, your tongue like a sharpened razor, you master of deceit. You love evil more than good, lies more than truth. You love the destructive word, you tongue of deceit. For this God will destroy you and remove you forever. He will snatch you from your tent and uproot you from the land of the living. 
the just shall see and fear. They shall laugh and say, So this is the man who refused to take God as a stronghold, but trusted in the greatness of his wealth and grew powerful by his crimes. But I am like a growing olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I will thank you forevermore, for this is your doing. I will proclaim that your name is good in the presence of your friends. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have put all my trust in, in God's, God's never-failing mercy. I put my trust in the word of the Lord. All my hope is in him. From the book of the prophet Amos. This is what the Lord God showed me. He was forming a locust swarm when the late growth began to come up, the late growth after the king's mowing. While they were eating all the grass in the land, I said, Forgive, O Lord God, how can Jacob stand? He is so small. And the Lord repented of this. It shall not be, said the Lord God. Then the Lord God showed me this. He called for a judgment by fire. It had devoured the great abyss and was consuming the land when I said, Cease, O Lord God, how can Jacob stand? He is so small. The Lord repented of this. This also shall not be, said the Lord God. Then the Lord God showed me this. He was standing by a wall, plummet in hand. The Lord asked me, What do you see, Amos? And when I answered, A plummet, the Lord said, See, I will lay the plummet in the midst of my people Israel. I will forgive them no longer. The high places of Isaac shall be laid waste, and the sanctuaries of Israel made desolate. I will attack the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words, for this is what Amos says. Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say, Prophesy not against Israel. Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now thus says the Lord, Your wife shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. I saw the Lord standing beside the altar, and he said, Strike the bases so that the door jams totter, till you break them off on the heads of them all. Those who are left I will slay with the sword. Not one shall flee. No survivor shall escape. Though they break through to the netherworld, even from there my hand will bring them out. Though they climb to the heavens, I will bring them down. 
Though they hide on the summit of Carmel, there too I will hunt them out and take them away. Though they hide from my gaze in the bottom of the sea, I will command the serpent there to bite them. Though they are led into captivity by their enemies, there will I command the sword to slay them. I will fix my gaze upon them for evil and not for good. I, the Lord God of hosts, I melt the earth with my touch so that all who dwell on it mourn while it all rises up like the Nile and settles back like the river of Egypt. I have built heaven, my upper chamber, and established my vault over the earth. I summon the waters of the sea and pour them upon the surface of the earth. I, the Lord by name, are you not like the Ethiopians to me, O men of Israel, says the Lord? Did I not bring the Israelites from the land of Egypt, as I brought the Philistines from Kaphtar and the Arameans from Kir? The eyes of the Lord God are on this sinful kingdom. I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. But I will not destroy the house of Jacob completely, says the Lord. For see, I have given the command to sift the house of Israel among all the nations, as one sifts with a sieve, letting no pebble fall to the ground. By the sword shall all sinners among my people die, those who say, Evil will not reach or overtake us. On that day I will raise up the fallen hut of David. I will wall up its breaches, raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may conquer what is left of Edom, and all the nations that shall bear my name, say I, the Lord, who will do this. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the vintager him who sows the seed. The juice of grapes shall drip down the mountains, and all the hills shall run with it. I will bring about the restoration of my people Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit their ruined cities, plant vineyards and drink the wine, set out gardens and eat the fruits. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them, say I, the Lord your God. That the rest of mankind and all peoples who hear my name may seek the Lord. I shall return and rebuild the fallen house of David, says the Lord. As scripture says, God came to choose from among the Gentiles a people to bear his name. I shall return and rebuild the fallen house of David, says the Lord. From a letter attributed to Barnabas. Consider now the way of light. Any man who is bent on reaching his appointed goal must be very careful in all he does. Now these are the directions that have been given to us for this journey. Love your Creator. Reverence your Maker. Give glory to Him who redeemed you when you were dead. Be single-minded but rich in spiritual treasure. Avoid those who travel down death's highway. Hate whatever is displeasing to God. Detest all hypocritical pretense. Do not abandon God's commandments. Do not put on airs, but be modest whatever you do. Claim no credit for yourself. Plot no evil against your neighbor, and do not give pride an entrance into your heart. Love your neighbor more than your own life. Do not kill an unborn child through abortion, nor destroy it after birth. Do not refrain from chastising son or daughter, but bring them up from childhood in the fear of the Lord. Do not set your heart on what belongs to your neighbor 
and do not give in to greed. Do not associate with the arrogant, but cultivate those who are humble and virtuous. Accept as a blessing whatever comes your way in the knowledge that nothing ever happens without God's concurrence. Avoid duplicity in thought or in word, for such deception is a deadly snare. Share with your neighbor whatever you have, and do not say of anything, this is mine. If you both share an imperishable treasure, how much more must you share what is perishable? Do not be hasty in speech. The mouth is a deadly snare. For your soul's good, make every effort to live chastely. Do not hold out your hand for what you can get, only to withdraw it when it comes to giving. Cherish as the apple of your eye anyone who speaks to you of the word of the Lord. Night and day you will bear in mind the hour of judgment. Every day you will seek out the company of God's faithful, either by preaching the word, earnestly exhorting them, ever considering how you can save souls by your eloquence, or else by working with your hands to make reparation for your past sins. Never hesitate to give, and when you do give, never grumble. Then you will know the one who will repay you. Preserve the traditions you have received, adding nothing and taking nothing away. The evildoer will ever be hateful to you. Be fair in your judgments. Never stir up dissension, but act as peacemaker and reconcile the quarrelsome. Confess your sins and do not begin to pray with a guilty conscience. Such, then, is the way of light. I keep my foot from every evil path. That I may keep your word, O Lord. I do not turn away from your ordinances, for you have instructed me. That I may keep your word, O Lord. Let us pray. Father of everlasting goodness, our origin and guide, be close to us and hear the prayers of all who praise you. Forgive our sins and restore us to life. Keep us safe in your love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.